So we have some new details surrounding the Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers situation with a new interview from executive Toby Emmerich. The Warner Brothers boss has finally spoken out regarding what he thinks and whether Nolan would make his next movie with the studio. I'm going to be addressing this new interview and discussing what I think it means for the director. But before I get into it, if you want to see more updates and videos on the work of directors like Christopher Nolan, then don't forget to support this video by giving it a like rating, subscribing to the channel, and turning on your notifications. Also, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram at Cortex Videos, which is all linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's dive into the newest update on the Warner Brothers and Christopher Nolan situation. So as we already know, Warner Media had announced that their entire 2021 slate of theatrical releases would debut simultaneously on HBO Max along with the traditional distribution, and this news wasn't very well received by the filmmakers and fans. One of the primary figures among those that were disappointed with the announcement was director Christopher Nolan, who has produced and directed many movies for the studio in a relationship that spans almost 20 years. Nolan had made criticisms of Warner Brothers decision and it was reported months ago that he may no longer work with them moving forward, even resulting in the head of the studio unsure about what was going to happen. In a new interview with the LA Times, Warner Brothers chairman Toby Emmerich was asked where things were between the studio and the filmmaker, with Emmerich replying, Only Chris Nolan knows what his next movie is going to be, but we do hope it will be at Warner Brothers. In another article for the LA Times, Emmerich had also addressed the response from other filmmakers that felt betrayed in trust, adding, The initial reaction of the town, we get it, but I think we're in a better place now. Hopefully we've restored trust. The LA Times had also spoken with Brian Lord at Creative Artists Agency, who was asked if he believed Warner Brothers had made progress repairing any of its hurt relationships, and Lord replied telling them, no, I don't. Of course, one of the standout problems in this whole situation was that Warner Brothers didn't even consult a lot of the filmmakers before they even made their decision, and it sounds like they haven't quite made up for that, with even Christopher Nolan still on the fence, based on this Toby Emmerich interview. Nolan was critical of WB's day and date theatrical streaming decision from the beginning, writing in a statement, Some of our industry's biggest filmmakers and most important stars went to bed the night before thinking they were working for the greatest movie studio and woke up to find out that they were working for the worst streaming service. The director whose work has brought in billions for Warner Brothers and resulting in multiple Oscar nominations had called the ethics of the studio into question after it occurred, telling the Washington Post, they did not speak to those filmmakers, they did not consult them about what their plans were for their work, and I felt that somebody needed to point out that this wasn't the right way to treat those filmmakers. Obviously, Nolan only makes a new film every two to three years, so it's possible we may not even hear about what his next project will be, or what studio he'll even pitch it to, for at least another year. So this is exactly what I was saying in that last video I did discussing why Nolan will most likely leave. It's some of the heads at Warner Brothers, like Toby Emmerich, who seem to have hurt the relationships with filmmakers after their controversial HBO Max decision. Toby Emmerich was also one of the heads that had been involved in a lot of the Zack Snyder fallout, and to be honest, I'm excited to see what happens when the Discovery merger fully takes over. The Discovery boss who is going to lead Warner Brothers in the next few years has already recognised the talent and property that the studio is sleeping on, and until that goes through, we can't really get an idea of what this means for filmmakers like Christopher Nolan. I hope it is good news, because under Emmerich's leadership, the company has lost billions since the Warner Media takeover. And it's pretty obvious when you look at the decisions they've made, including the one at the end of last year. 
I honestly think that Nolan will wait to see what this Discovery merger brings, and if it is good news for the filmmakers, then he might stay. Otherwise, I wouldn't be surprised if he moves to a studio like Paramount, Sony or Universal if things at Warner Brothers continue to be heated. We'll have to see, but I guess what this interview did confirm is that Christopher Nolan will only continue working with Warner Brothers if they can repair the relationship that they have damaged. And of course, the same goes for other filmmakers like Zack Snyder and Denis Villeneuve. But that was all the latest updates on what has been going on at Warner Brothers, and we'll have to see how this all develops. Again, Christopher Nolan has not officially left Warner Brothers yet, but if things continue to stay as they are, then the studio will likely lose one of their greatest filmmakers. I will be keeping you up to date on this as it progresses, and it will be interesting to see what happens in the coming months. But regardless of the latest details and what I think, let me know down below what your opinion is towards the Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers situation, along with what studio you think Nolan will end up working with if he does in fact leave the studio. For more updates and content on the work of directors like Christopher Nolan, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise. Fear is the mic.